Hi, Ashley here with Heart Hook Home, and today we are going to learn how to make a crocheted star. I'm going to use a color other than white because it would be easier to see as I am working along. So I will move this guy over here. Okay, first we are going to start with a magic circle. If you're not sure how to make a magic circle, I have another video tutorial for this and it will literally change the way that you crochet in the round, so I definitely recommend learning it. I'm going to do one pretty fast here. I'll slow it down, but not too fast. Okay, so we'll go under, hook it, bring it up, bring it through, boom, there's your magic circle. So if you want to watch the full tutorial for that, I have that also on hearthookhome.com and on my YouTube channel. Okay, so we're going to first, to make this star, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to do ten single crochets into the magic circle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it doesn't really look like a circle, does it? Nope. <laughs> no, it does not. So we're going to take the tail and we're going to pull it tight. Boop. Okay, so now we have this circle with 10 single crochets. We are going to slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet made. So I always count backwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just to make sure that I'm putting it in the right place. So we're going to slip stitch into there. And now we're going to make another round of single crochet, except we're going to do an increase round because we want to end up with 15, so just follow along. We'll chain one, We'll single crochet into the very same stitch, so one here, and we will put two single crochets in the next. And we will repeat that around the entire piece. Okay, repeat that sequence. So now we do a single, and now we do two. Now we do one here, and then we do two. And we're repeating this around and that will get us to where we have 15 single crochets. And we want 15 single crochets because when we're making our star we have five points and each point will cover three spaces, okay, three stitches. So that's why we want 15 total. So let me count and make sure I have my 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Slip stitch to the top of that bad boy right there. Okay, now if your circle starts to open a little bit, don't worry, We can, because we can always pull it shut and we will towards the end, okay? That's the beauty of a magic circle. So in order to create each point, <clears throat> excuse me, we are going to chain four and then we're going to work back in taller and taller stitches until we get to the base. It's really, really easy. So we chain four. One, two, three, four. I found that on your last chain, if you pull it a little bit tighter, it makes the point a little pointier. You don't have to, but I found that it works. So in your in your second, so that's the first, into the second chain from the hook, we're going to do a single crochet. In the next, we're going to do a half double crochet. And in the end, we're going to do a double crochet. Okay, first point made. Now we are going to skip the first two full stitches. So this is the one we came out of, so we're going to skip that one and skip that one, and we're going to slip stitch into this one. Okay, there's our first point. How well you can see that. We'll have to make a few more. So now we're going to do one, two, three, four, right? So we slip stitch and chain four. Now I, again, I pull that first one a little bit tighter and then single crochet into the second and then half double in the third and then double crochet into the last. Now we're going to skip the first two fully formed. So this is the slip stitch that we went into, so skip that. And we're going to skip the first and the second fully formed 
or untouched, and then we're going to slip stitch into the next one right here. Okay, so now we've got two points. So now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, pull out just a little bit tight, single crochet into the second, half double into the next, and double crochet, I'm gonna need to pull my yarn, double crochet into the last, right here. All right, and then we're going to, that's the one we came out of, so we're gonna skip the next one and the next one, and we're gonna slip stitch into this one right here. Okay, now we've got three, so we're gonna do two more. One, two, three, four. Pull that down a little bit. Now we're gonna do single crochet into the second, half double into the next, double into the last. Okay, and then, so that's the one we came out of. We're going to skip that one and skip that one and slip stitch into this one right here. One more point and we are done, folks. Let's do one, two, three, four. Tighten that up just a little bit. I'm gonna go in single crochet into that first one, half double into that next one, double crochet into the last one, and we're going to skip that one, skip that one, skip that one. We're gonna to slip to the top of that front little guy right there. This one might be a little bit tighter to get into because it's actually where you started, but it makes it look so much better if you're able to do that. So now I'm gonna pull this out just a little bit since we're done and I'll weave it in later. So beautiful little crocheted star. See, we've got our little points here. I find that when I do a smaller um, chain four on that, or when my fourth chain is a little bit smaller, it just looks better. We do have a little bit of a bubble here in the middle, so we're gonna take this yarn, and this is important to do, excuse me, when we do um, any kind of magic circle. Take this yarn, kind of pull it to make it nice and tight, so it kind of cinches things up, and then before, before I just let you loose with these crochet stars, I wanna show you a trick. Thread your um, needle, okay? And what I like to do is, this is the back side of our star, right? There's the front, here's the back. What I like to do is I go weave in this end through the first row that we did of single crochet. So it'll do a few stitches at a time, but weave your way around the entire first row and that way your end is stays nice and tight, right? Your circle will stay nice and closed. And once you get all the way around, that end ain't going nowhere, honey. Your circle is not gonna fall out because you wove that all the way around. So, and then you can take your scissors and just clip it right down there at the base. Take that, toss it away. And then you've got this tail that you can use to sew on your applique or you could, I don't know, make a little hangy thing and make like a star lantern. That would be really cute for outdoor um, entertainment. So I hope this helps you with your crochet stars. Cute little burgers, aren't they? <laughs> I just love them. So if you, um, if you need any more help with a magic circle or anything, be sure to shoot me a message, leave a comment, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.